Hi there and welcome to PJ Stats, the stats you can do while you're still in your PJs. And in this episode, I'm going to be giving you my five productivity tips for efficient data cleansing. So the first steps, you collect your data, you enter that data into a single worksheet, you name that worksheet raw data. From there, you leave it alone. And I'll explain to you soon exactly why you need to leave it alone. My first tip here is plan ahead. My advice is to ask those people that have had previous experience, ask them what they did, what they learned from it, and listen to them. When you've done that, create a plan of action for your own data cleaning. If this is not your first time, then uh, if you've made some mistakes last time, this is your chance to learn and improve from what you did before. Tip number two, version control your data set. So you've gone out and you've collected your data. It's in a worksheet called raw data. This is your version one. And now you want to make a, co a copy of this, clone it, uh, and then you can start to clean that data. Once you've cleaned it, this is your version two. And then when you're ready that you want to start um, preparing your data for analysis, you can make, make a clone of that data and prepare your data. This is version three, and you can go on and have lots of different versions. The reason version controlling your data set like this is important is if you make a mistake in a later worksheet, you can always revert back to a previous worksheet. If you're working in one single sheet called raw data and you make a mistake, you might not be able to undo that mistake and you might lose your entire data set. By version controlling it, uh, you, uh, you're making sure that you can always take a step backwards. So when you move on to a new version, you want to leave the previous version alone. Don't touch it at all. You can then check uh, how uh, errors were introduced in the first place and you, rec you can recover from any new mistakes that you've made. Tip number three, obey the holy trinity of data cleaning. Okay, what are these, this holy trinity? First step is extract. You copy some data to a spare worksheet. Once you've got it there, you can transform it into the, uh, into the, the clean data that you need. So you clean your data in isolation. And finally, you can load it back in to the latest version. Extract, transform, load. This is the holy trinity of data cleaning. And my tip here is to never work directly on any data in any version of your data set. You want to copy your data into a spare worksheet. Work on it there and then you can, you can move it back into your live worksheet. Tip number four, automate your data cleaning. My tip here is try not to clean your data manually. Instead, you need to learn to use Excel functions and formulae, like remove duplicates, find and replace, trim, clean, substitute. These are the main ones, but there are others. Tip number five, cleanse your karma. And you do this by whenever you find an error, you report it back to the original source. And this is it's not just good for you, but it's good for your colleagues as well. And if you don't clean your data and report it back to the original source, it's got a habit of kicking you where it hurts. Next time you need data from that same source, you'll have to clean exactly the same errors as last time. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of PJ Stats. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and any future versions that come out, they'll come straight into your YouTube. My bonus tip here is back up your data. Back it up, back it up, back it up. And make sure you back up in at least two different locations. This uh, lesson is, is part of a free video course that we've got running called Practical Data Cleaning, and it's exclusive to, to us. You can only find it in the Hive, uh, and if you follow this, this URL, bit.ly forward slash PDC free vid, you can get uh, access to this video course. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you again in another episode of PJ Stats.